black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. She's a real cunt of a woman. Sorry, Gary, didn't mean to be such a cocksucker back there. Ooh, rock. Onward. All right, yes, hello, how are you? We are back in the truck today, going for some A&W. Now, the reason why I'm going for this meal is mainly inspired by myself because I've been craving it, okay? I've been craving A&W for a while. I want some teens and a poutine, so it's a teen trio. I'm gonna get two teen burgers, maybe some onion rings, a poutine. But also, this is very off-brand for me, this video was heavily inspired by a subscriber. Now, y'all know I love a good pepperoncini on this channel, and lately they've had a resurgence, right? So they kind of, I had a little pepperoncini drought for a little while. They, they were on the back burner, but now they've made a little bit of a resurgence. And so a subscriber who back in the day was commenting like a bunch of videos was like, yo, where's the pepperoncini? Chinese at the moment, man. And you know, I had seen it in the comments, and I just, you know, I wasn't really on a pepperoncini level. I didn't address where they were at to him. But I said, I think at one comment, I said, like, they, they, they will always be around. You trust me, I got you. But, anyways, so I put up that spaghetti video the other day with the pepperoncini on top, like the cherry on top of the sundae, but it was the pepperoncini on top of the sour cream. And the sour cream in spaghetti is bomb, by the way. Try it, anyways. Dude hits me up on Instagram with like a like a requested video like he he, he was taking a video uh, at home and he it's him laying in his bed and this dude's just smoked out of his trees I think he's 20 21 and uh, <laughs> and he's like he's in bed and then he switches the camera and he zooms in on the pepperoncini and he's like no ho, 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 ho. is it chini time right now is it chini time and dead ass it cracked me the fuck up so i was like started talking with my guy and uh we just got to chatting about pepperoncinis and then i was like uh i was like i think i'm gonna hit up a, a, one of these car bangs in the next day or two because i've just been feeding in a car bank because low-key high-key i've been loving these i just i love the switch up i love the natural light uh it's just like a different vibe for me uh and yeah i just i like them and so in my mind i was like my next one is going to be a and w but like telekinetically through the internet his next comment was like yo you should hit a and w and make that slap and i was like how would you i was like I legit was my next car bang was gonna be AW because I've been wanting team burgers and a poutine and some onion rings, but I want to stack the onion rings on the bird. Anyways, so he was like, Whoa, no way, da 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 da. So, anyways, uh, that's why I'm on my way to this mission right now. So, I'm gonna pull in here, grab these, and then head up to make out point you've been there with me before it's hallows eve right now so this is currently halloween day it's mid-afternoon and uh i gotta get back to like maybe see what's up with the candy situation with the kids i just don't know if we're gonna get much but you know the house is prepared so i can't wait to order this go out park get settled i'm ready to smash i'm so hungry i, I ate so light yesterday and uh, i'm just i'm so ready to crush so We'll go through the drive-through, get this figured, and then, of course, get to eating. Rolling up to the mother flipping promised land. Here we are. Hello, mate. The promised land, isn't it, A and W? All right, we gotta be strategic here. Let's do it though, let's do it though. Can I get a team burger combo, please? Can I make the fries a poutine? Okay. And then can I also get another team burger uh, j with an onion rings? Nope. Correct, yep. Okay, oh, yeah, thank you. We got her, baby. 27.85. It's real around here. 
super fucking real, bro. Can you turn You dab it, please? Do you have a uh, diet root beer or no? Yes, we do. I got a diet, please. Oh, no, like with the combo of the first one? No. Just nobody asked me what I wanted to drink. Oh, that's okay. Thank you. Yep, yeah, thank you. Oh, yes. Let's roll, baby. We're doing it and doing it and doing it well. <laughs> what am I talking? Is that an LL Cool J song? Zooming it and zooming it and zooming it. Wow. Isn't it? I think it is. Okay. Onward and upward to make out point. I hope it's not too packed up there. It's usually pretty friggin' popping, but maybe because it's Halloween it'll be chills, but I doubt it. Probably make it that much more romantic. <laughs> Yo, straight up, I'm behind a fucking person right now. Don't be this person. Left turns, intersections. Take control of the intersection. You, it's green light. You get out about halfway so that you have a perfect 90 degree L turn to your left. You take control of the intersection so like you're ready to just go and that the next person behind you is in there too. It's like you don't just wait and then go. Like Take control. I don't get it. Driving ranting, it, it's a real thing, man. Tell me if, are you an angry driver? I'm not an angry driver, I'm pretty chill most of the time. It's just, I just, some people, it's just like, how did you pass? Like, how did you get your license? Because the very simple basics of the road are just being, that criteria is just not being met by you and it needs to be met. So we don't get in accidents. Cause that's how we get in accidents is by people who actually don't, like drive with confidence or know like how to drive it's it's actually a problem lots of people are terrible just by the way <laughs> meanwhile i'm sitting here driving talking to an iphone glancing at it but you know what i mean i honestly it's probably not the best practice but i'm very confident in my driving abilities and it's just very second nature i know what's up my dad let me drive on his lap since i was like six grew up racing dirt bikes and shit. Like I have very good like reaction time and awareness about periphery and what's in front of me. And I'm just so used to like driving motor vehicles, especially extreme ones. So I kind of feel like I have an upper edge, but that could be just me being overconfident too. So there's that, it's a real thing in life. Make out point, here we are. Come on over, come on over my darling. Oh, it's looking, looking, that's a pretty good spot, but I like the top part, I like the really good look up. It looks like we got quite a bit of, oh yeah, we got freedom, freedom, da 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 Talker here, park fire buddy guy. All right, so we're here, we've made it. We have procured the sack. And as you can see, 2786. I hope that's in the frame, I don't know. Uh, I'm switching it up today. I'm on my iPhone, trying a new tactic. Uh, I have my other camera with me, but I just, I'm actually intrigued to see how this comes out. Something about the iPhone is just like, it makes things quite a bit easier. I'm not gonna lie. It's mounted more properly. It's just more simplistic. And uh, I'm all about making these videos as easy as possible when it comes to the actual filming. I just, I hate when I run into like filming problems. It's very, uh, very taxing on my mental state. <laughs> so I just got the burger set and ready for the thumbnail. Bear with me for a second. I did throw onion rings on them you guys get a look at that before we get the thumbnail you have a gander okay so right off rip my experience looking a little bleak uh onion rings a little burnt 
pretty much all the way through most of the bag at least half the bag is pretty burnt so mildly disappointed on that uh each team burger only came with one tomato which is a little bit infuriating i'm not gonna lie and there's small slices it's not like they cover the whole thing it's like a very small slice and uh no ketchup to be found in the bag uh no sauce asked for for onion rings probably amateur on my part i should have asked for the sauces the protein is however looking prime and proper i will say that that's for sure and i love a good AW protein let's go in for this protein i'm super down for it i am excited about it gotta get it while it's hot oh my god it smells so good Mm -hmm. and w got that good ass gravy smells that worker was wearing heavy perfume that perfume rubbed off on the box now an old lady just pulled up to me her and her husband just got out of the car beside me and in my head i'm like am i really smelling an old woman's perfume through the vehicle turns out it's whoever was working inside transferred to the box And that's actually a huge no-no in restaurants and food places is you're not supposed to wear fragrances. Uh, I know that from working in them for uh, a decade. And uh, it disrupts the, uh, the eating experience for your guests and stuff at the table. Now it's a little nonsensical because think about it. The people going out for dinner, it's a mixed variety. Everybody else is gonna have scents on and stuff. You know, lots of people jazz it up and squirt on the stinky stuff when they go out for dinner. So it's a bit futile, but I kinda understand the rule. But back to this video and my man who inspired it, the young smoker. So we're just going to go ahead and shout out Chaz. <laughs> I see you. I brought something for you in this video. You'll see it next here. Coming right up. Be prepared. Stay ready. Because I got a surprise. Your guy's getting the highs off his own supplies. <laughs> I brought the chinis. I've never had a chini with a burger before. Before. <clears throat> before. Honestly. Um, I feel like it should be good. That said, though. I might want to, you know, it might be begging for a little ranch. But here we go. A slapper burg, team burger, lettuce, tomato, onion, pickle, mustard, ketchup, cheese, and bacon. And I added the O-rings. So I'm ready and I've been craving this for weeks. Mmm. Oh man. Wow. Mm. Here we go. Teeny dreams, baby. Dream. That's two firsts in one video for me. First is I've never put onion rings on this burger. Immediate yes. Immediate game changer. I will definitely do this from here on out with teens. 
and I never have peppertini. With a burger. Either, I should say. It worked, it's good. So he was asking me, cause he's in Boston. He's like, I was like, oh, like what's your order? I asked him actually, I'm like, what's your order from A&W? Cause he like, he was, he had knowledge of A&W. He's like, we ain't got it. Damn. And he said, what could you compare it to? And I was trying to think, what could I compare it to? And honestly, nothing. A&W has a very, very... Unique flavor profile for a couple reasons. Their beef is some of the best tasting beef. Hands down in the burger get in the burger game. The fact that they put the pickle and it's mustard heavy, it's mustard forward, and onion on the bottom underneath the patty. So, that's what your tongue first tastes, is a mustardy, pickly bite. It activates a whole different flavor experience. than most other burgers in the, in the chain game. Beyond that, in the team burger, the bacon. And I'll use bacon. Like a Wendy's bacon is very real tasting, legit. And it, it's right there. It's right in your fucking face when you bite into it. It's like, it, it's there. You notice it. McDonald's has this floppy ass fucking fake ass bacon. You can't even taste it. If you're getting bacon on McDonald's burger, you might as well just not get bacon on McDonald's burger. You, just, you can't even taste it. It feels like it's not even there. Onion rings without sauce are legit disappointing I could definitely say that all right the next move I'm intrigued to see how the pepperoncini works with the poutine bite because the richness of the gravy and the cheese that fat Hmm. Is what a poutine is what a pepperoncini needs to stand up against to cut. And I think I just discovered that I need to invent pepperoncini poutine. <laughs> it was good. That really works. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it again tonight, tonight. <laughs> we live it up. I hate that song so much. So overplayed back in uh, the when it was popular. So, round two on this boy. But another shout out actually, which is just, I don't usually do these, but I have to do this one for sure, for sure. If you're watching this, a woman named Amber, massive shout out to you. 
I put up the other day a community post, just basically, I've been slacking on, uploading the last three songs that I made to Bandcamp, which is a link where you can go purchase the song for two bucks or any more that you would like to further donate to support if you want the song for yourself, like a downloadable copy. You can always just rip and steal it from YouTube too. <clears throat> Spotify is a joke to me. I just don't know how to get any numbers on there and shit. So like I can't make any sort of money through it. So essentially I make music for my therapy really, but it would be nice to, you know, make a couple bucks off it, which is why I'm shouting out this person. If she was so kind to buy two songs for $30. So that's a very generous purchase. especially in a world of buying, you know, most people sell their songs for a dollar. But the people who are selling their songs for a dollar also are getting, <laughs> you know, hundreds of thousands or tens of thousands of purchases. And are on the charts and actually, you know, music is their career and stuff are established. Would be nice. That said, a lot of musicians and artists are deep in debt to labels. are technically secretly broke. And actually in more debt. Than they'd probably care to admit. <laughs> but of course there's a lot who are very extremely wealthy. But whatever. Regardless of money, to me, making the art, making the music is fun, makes me feel alive. Gives me some sort of greater, like, ethereal purpose. You know? At this point, I've had tens of thousands of people hear my music. Lots of people comment on it. So that right there in itself is pretty crazy achievement, in all honesty. And I'm grateful for that. But ultimately, I feel like making music for me... The main prize is to know that I took something unique to myself and my self-expression of the thoughts I had that come from inside me and outside from the ether. And I put it, you know, I took it from a non-existent realm and pulled it into reality, into a final form that in now technically is um, like it's like it immortalizes me or something in some way though not across the globe like you know not everybody knows my name and shit about it but it technically it's like a piece of something that came from nowhere 
that now exists here and it's like a permanent thing until i guess you know everything in the planet goes to dust but even then i don't know yeah i guess it, i guess that sound form has to exist you know on something but I don't know. It, it feels almost like it's an immortalization or something, like like taking a picture and shit like that. Like that's the point of taking video and pictures. Like it, it's it's immortalizing moments and, and almost creating. I think the song's even a little more deeper than that. It's more intimate because a picture is like you're just capturing something that does exist already, whereas with a song, it's like you birthed this very unique thing to you. It's like your fingerprint, your soul's fingerprint, essentially coming through the ether, tethered through you. And now you're creating, you know, sonic melodies and rhythms and, and, uh, you know, conveying a message and, you know, displaying emotions and connecting, making a connection via those sounds and words and everything to, to, to to create emotions in other people and that's why to me me making music for myself and to put it out is so just like addictively something I feel like I have to do all like as much as I possibly can which I don't do enough of but you know I'm not going to get into the semantics of it but if that's even the right word but uh yeah, it's just something that's like, I don't know. It's so, it's such an attractive thing to who I am. I just, I can't get past the idea of, of never making music. Like, I feel like I always, I'm going to always have to or something. So anyways, long rant off topic. These uh, onion rings were burnt as shit. So I didn't finish them. There's only like three left in the bag. But yo, those burgers were clutch to say the least very very good i will definitely be adding onion rings from here on out just the saucy guy dropped the ball on being the saucy guy i should have requested you know some ranches maybe a mayo and some ketchups because you know it's just at least for me i need that wetness so i'm now gonna go back home hand out some candy and I'm also considering having some drinky poos rand and going live tonight, which this will be, if I do, you'll have already seen me live tonight because it's Halloween and this will be up tomorrow. So I don't even know why I'm saying that, but whatever. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the live. <laughs> okay, till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true. <laughs>